Hi, my name is Holly, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be going over the enhanced capabilities of the SOLIDWORKS 2014 Whole Wizard. Previously, the Whole Wizard in SOLIDWORKS would help you automatically generate holes of various types based on fastener and hardware size. You can still create those holes with the Whole Wizard, but now in SOLIDWORKS 2014, you can automatically make a slot based on the fastener or hardware size. I will be showing you the different slots you can make using the Whole Wizard feature in the Features tab in the Command Manager. The first six hole types here are the hole types that you saw in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS. The next three are the new slots that have been added to the 2014 SOLIDWORKS capabilities. We have our counter bore slot, our counter sink slot, as well as just our regular slot. There are options to control the slot here in the property manager. You can define it off of the standard, type, and size. You can also change it to use a custom sizing, as well as then you would place in your slot length. Give it an end condition, and then you can say whether you want there to be a counter sink on the near side or far side as well. More controls are available when using the placement sketch. You can define the orientation of your slot based on the provided construction line by giving it either a dimension or you can also give it a relation, such as this parallel relation here. So here we have our slot that's been created. I'll also go ahead and show you the countersink slot as well as the counter bore. So let me just change this to a countersink. As well as we have the counter bore. In today's video, we covered the new capabilities of the whole wizard slots in SOLIDWORKS 2014. For more useful videos like this, subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.